so the last six chapters is mainly about child development or the human development okay so uh, the first chapter is about introduction and all from the second to six it is human development and child development so here the chapter seven is about chapter seven and chapter eight is about food and nutrition okay this is an another branch of home science food science and nutrition okay are you ready to start sana it's your favorite subject right hmm do you like cooking and all so it's your favorite subject so are you ready to start okay do you like uh, food science and nutrition meghna yes reina okay fine so it be very easy so in this chapter we are going to learn about uh, what is food some basic things okay what is food what is nutrients what are the uh, nutritional processes and how to plan a balanced diet and all okay which are the different uh, dietary patterns in adolescents these are the certain points that we are going to learn in this chapter okay so you learned about foods right in your smaller classes you learned about foods and all hmm? what all uh, topics do you learn or did you learn sana what do you know about foods food contains protein sorry sorry it's not clear Uh, food contains uh, proteins, vitamins. Okay, then, then anything else, Meghna? Okay. Foods. Uh, food is for maintaining our life mm -hmm. to be healthy. Yeah, that's a function of food. Okay, then, Reena, do you know anything other than these points? Just give any one point of food, any point. Hmm. Food is necessary for every human being. Yeah, food is necessary for every human being. Not only for humans, but also for every living things. Okay, food is very necessary for all. So first, we are going to learn the definitions of nutrients, food, and all. Okay. So, what do you mean by food? This is a definition. Food can be. Uh, before that, what is your favorite food? Which is your favorite food, Reena? Favorite food? Hmm? Pasta. 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 Sana. Nature. Nature. Then Meghna. Biryani. Biryani. Biryani is also my favorite food. Okay, so uh, these all are the solid foods. Biryani, nature, all these are the solid foods. Not only the solid foods, but also liquid foods. liquid is also considered as a food okay so food are the solid or liquid substances that after consumption there is a process that happen digestion absorption and these nutrients or the foods that we use for different functions of the body that is called as food so food is a, as reina says food is a basic necessity of human beings or any living things food is a basic necessity so food is any nutritious substances that people or animals have or eat or drink in order to maintain a healthy life that is called as food okay food means it is any nutritious substances that any living beings that eat or drink in order to maintain a proper health that is called as food okay Uh, we can simply say that food is uh, something that we eat when we are hungry or sometimes when we are not hungry okay food is something that we eat when we are hungry or sometimes not we are hungry hmm? that is called as food okay so then what are the functions of food functions volunteer yourselves what are the functions of food reena reena try what are the functions of food Food have um, helps us to maintain the body, mm -hmm. and there are many nutri nutrients mm -hmm. which helps uh, help our body to mm -hmm. be healthy in different mm -hmm. manner. They help. Mm -hmm. Then, Sana. Sana. This is for our body, like um, it helps us to grow. Um, mm hmm. Food promotes growth. Then, energy 
could give us the right? energy ah then mm. then magna food gives us strength hmm and it right. helps to um, maintain right. life and give um, it's okay so mainly there are three functions for food which are the physiological function social function and psychological function okay mainly there are three functions for food which are the physiological function social function and psychological function these are the three functions of food physiological functions means uh, it supplies energy it enables of growth the food that help us to repair our tissues and various organs building of our new organs and tissues it protect ourselves from different diseases and it enables our immune systems regulates body function all these are physiological function that is directly connected with our body okay that is called as physiological functions which are the physiological functions of food it supplies energy enables growth it repair the tissues and organs it repair the various tissues and organs and the food mainly protect ourselves from various diseases various diseases by improving our immune system if our immune system is good there is less chance for getting diseases okay so uh, these kind of physiological functions are there and it regulate our body function the food that help us to regulate all our body functions like digestion all the functions that in the body that that is regulated by food okay these are the physiological functions okay so mainly there are three types of functions or three kinds of function they are physiological functions social functions and psychological function physiological functions means it is directly connected with our body like uh, the food that promotes growth it provides a good immune system prevent ourselves from diseases all these are the physiological functions okay is it clear reena these are the physiological functions okay reena is it clear ma'am the hmm. one you said last was the physiological functions the the one you have written that supplies energy regulates the body function is it yeah yeah it's a physiological functions okay all our body functions are controlled by food okay so it is a physiological functions energy growth tissue building building of a, a different cells protect from disease and regulate the body function all our functions is regulated by food these are the physiological functions then what is food sana what do you mean by food try to learn within the class okay so it's very easy. so it uh, or liquid substance hmm. that is simple for our body and then absorb uh, for what absorb absorb to maintain for a good life for a healthy person okay that is called as food there are three important functions that is physiological functions social function and psychological functions we learned about the physiological functions what is social functions do you know what is it social function what is a social function of a food social means hmm social sometimes a food serves as a our food as a reason for get togethers right like birthdays meetings all these are the social functions you can write down food serves as a reason for get togethers food serves as a reason for get togethers that is called as social function of a food the food is connected with a society or a group of people the get togethers and all that is called as social functions and one more is there that is psychological function the second is social function and the third one is psychological function megna what do you mean by psychological function what is psychology it can um, like if stress or something we eat food 
Hmm. So, so sometimes we food used as a reward or a punishment. Okay. So psychological functions means we use our food as a reward, or sometimes we use the food as a punishment. Okay. These are the psychological functions, which means food is used for rewards and punishments. That is psychological function. What is a reward? What do you mean by a reward, Raina? What is a reward? Reward means something good. Hmm. We give something to someone good. for a recognition of a particular activity or an achievement. That is reward. Okay. We give something to someone for her or his achievement. That is called as reward. So, classification. These foods. We have lots of foods, right? Lots of foods. So these kinds of foods are mainly divided into two groups. First is the basis on the basis of nutrients present in the food. Nutrients present in the food, and we classify the food into two, which are the first is on the basis of nutrients, and second is on the basis of physiological function. Okay, so we learned about food and the functions of food. Next, the food is classified into two groups. Raina, note down. Or just underline the textbook. Both are fine. Okay. So, uh, how the food is classified? The food is classified on the basis of two factors. One is the nutrients present in the food, and other on the basis of physiological functions. Okay. Is it clear? Then. Sana, list some functions of food. Functions of food. Functions. So, social function. Social function. Physiological function. Physiological function and psychological, psychological function. function. Okay. Which are the physiological function, Meghna? List any three points. Enables growth. Enables growth. Supplies energy. Supplies energy, good. Us from various diseases by improving immune system. Okay, fine. Then, uh, what about social functions, Reina? Social function and? What is the main thing in many events, social events? Get together. Okay. Get together. What are the events? In events, right? Birthday parties, marriages. These all are the social functions we use the food for a social gatherings that is called as social function and one more is there that is psychological function psychological functions means Sana, what is it psychological function connected with your psychology and all we use the food for sometimes we use the food as a it doesn't give the food for them hmm? Reward or rewards and punishments that is psychological function the usage of food to give a reward or sometimes for a punishment that is psychological function next what is nutrients so we learned about food and uh, different functions of foods and the classification then what are nutrients what are nutrients give an example volunteer what are nutrients? Fine, fine. So nutrients are the small chemical components. Nutrients are the small chemical components that is present in our food that help you to grow, reproduce and lead a normal life. So nutrients are the small chemical substances present in our food. Okay. Nutrients are the small chemical substances present in our food. The chemical components. It can be organic or inorganic. It can be organic. The chemical components. It can be organic or inorganic. Okay. These chemical compounds. I told you that nutrients are the chemical components. There are two types of components. One is organic and other is inorganic. Okay. What do you mean by organic? This is more about a theory part. Okay. So try to learn. 
hmm? is a basic chapter so what do you mean by organic components organic components means uh, the nutrients that mainly contain carbon okay the carbon containing foods are called as organic components organic nutrients that contain carbon that is called as organic compounds so nutrients can be organic or inorganic organic compounds includes most of the compounds that connecting with carbon you can write down organic compounds include most components containing carbon carbon containing nutrients are called as organic compounds mainly the energy giving compounds mainly energy providing nutrients mainly the energy giving nutrients which are the energy giving nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins so these are the organic compounds okay so the nutrients maybe it can be organic compounds or an inorganic compounds organic compound means the nutrients that contain carbon the carbon containing nutrients is called as organic compound inorganic means just the opposite without the carbon that is called as no carbon is here that is called as inorganic compound which are the organic compounds which are the organic nutrients energy giving nutrients like carbohydrate proteins and vitamins okay which are they the organic nutrients means they contain carbon they are carbohydrates proteins and vitamins is it confusing sana okay so carbohydrate proteins and vitamins are the organic components then what about inorganic 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 means without carbon so what are they without carbon water water is also considered as a nutrient okay water and minerals water and minerals okay so nutrients are the small chemical components nutrients are the small chemical components that mainly present in our food that can be organic or inorganic the nutrients can be organic or inorganic organic means the food that contain carbon like the energy giving nutrients like carbohydrates proteins vitamins and all okay just the opposite is inorganic in means non carbon containing foods without the carbon so what are they water and minerals is it clear okay so how the food can be classified reena there are two ways that food can be classified which are they the classification of food nutrients by nutri nutrient based now ah, one is nutrient based that is the food contains some nutrients so we arrange the food on the basis of nutrients that is one classification and next one more uh say physiological function very good physiological function so we classified the food on the basis of two one is the nutrients present in the food and other is a physiological function these all are the nutrients okay the nutrients present in the food uh, what do you mean by nutrients ana nutrient the small chemical substances which are present in in the food very good it can be magna it can be organic and inorganic what do you mean by organic uh, there will be carbon containing nutrients in it and inorganic it's non carbon contain which are the examples reena organic carbohydrate good protein protein vitamins ah oh, fine then what about inorganic sana uh, water and water and water minerals minerals very minerals. good very good very good so that's all about nutrients then 
the nutrients are again classified into two nutrients are again classified into two which are they which are they raina read the nutrients are classified into two micronutrients and micronutrients this is mainly based on the quality or the mass okay sorry the quantity or the mass this classification is based on mass how much it contains in our food okay on the basis of mass that we required every day on the basis of the mass we classified the nutrients into two they are micronutrients and macronutrients okay so on the basis of mass or quantity that we need every day the nutrients is classified on the basis of two on the basis of two that is micronutrients and macronutrients sana so switch on the camera micronutrients and macronutrients what do you mean by micronutrients do you know do you know about that did you learn it reena did you learn micronutrients and macronutrients hmm? i think so i have studied but i don't remember fine fine so micronutrients means the nutrients required in small amount micro means small right as the name says micro so we need these kind of nutrients in small amount that is called as micronutrients micronutrients are the nutrients that are required in small amounts micronutrients are the nutrients that are required in small amounts okay just the opposite is macronutrients macro means big or large so the nutrients that are required in large amounts we need a uh, macronutrients in large for every day these kind of nutrients are called as macronutrients so on the basis of quantity or mass we classified the nutrients on the nutrients into two they are micronutrients and macronutrients micronutrients means the nutrients that we needed in smaller amount every day this kind of nutrients that we need in small amount every day that is called as micronutrients and macro means the nutrients that we need in large amount don't get confused micro means small and macro means large okay reena is it clear so what are the macronutrients what are the macronutrients carbohydrates proteins fat and water we need carbohydrate proteins a uh, fat sorry yeah carbohydrate proteins fats and water in larger amount that is why it is called as micronutrients we need carbohydrate proteins so we need carbohydrate proteins and fats in larger amount we need to include the carbohydrate rich foods in our food okay in our meal that is macronutrients then what about micronutrients as the name says micro it means small so we need these kind of nutrients in small amount per day every day we need smaller amount of these nutrients which are they we need vitamins sorry we need the vitamins and minerals in small amount when compared with macronutrients okay the vitamins and minerals we need in smaller amount when we compared with carbohydrates and all like we need rice more than fruits hmm? rice wheat all these are the carbohydrate foods okay so we need these kind of foods more than vitamins and minerals is it clear sana okay uh, sorry sana is it clear ah, okay fine then uh, the nutrients are classified uh, which are the nutrients that we have reena what are the nutrients we have in our food hmm carbohydrates fats good carbohydrates fat proteins proteins vitamins vitamins very good so uh, we classified the food into two on the basis of what megna the food can be classified on the basis of 
classification of food. We classify uh, the food, right? In the food and the physiological. Function. Very good. We classify the food on the basis of nutrients present in the food and on the basis of physiological function. The functions that food we gives us. Sorry, the food gives us. That is called as classification. And we have three functions of food. What are these? Are now the three functions of food? Uh, social. Social function. Physiological. Physiological function. Psychological. Psychological function. Very good. Uh, Reena, what are the phys physiological functions? Physiological. Physiological means it is related with our body. How the food is related directly with our body? Physiology. Energy. It provides energy. Um, then, try, try. Don't look to the box. Just try. And uh, energy and uh, hmm. fine, fine. Try. They call your memory functions. If we eat food, what all things we get from food? Energy. It provides energy. Then, um, then uh, it protect the food. Protect us from. Um. Uh, like hmm. diseases. Very good. Diseases. How the food improves uh, our immune, immune system. system. Yeah, food Imp improves our immune improves system. Improves our immune system. So hence we are less falling yeah. in. Ah, falling in diseases. Very good. Megna, what about social function? Food serves as the main. Hmm? We for the social gatherings. Yeah, like, very good. The social gatherings. We use the food as for social gatherings. That is called as social functions. Okay, then we classify the nutrients on the basis of mass or the quantity that we need every day, right? Which are they? We classify the food on the basis of the quantity we need every day. Which are they? Sana. I think she. Sana, try. Uh, sorry, Sana. Ah, the nutrients we classified on the basis of mass. Some nutrients that we classified on the basis of quantity that we need every day. Right. Which are they? How can we classify the nutrients based on the... Uh, Sana? Uh, very good micronutrients and macronutrients very good very good uh, megna what is micronutrients and macronutrients just give what is it then you know, think about the examples micronutrients we require the small amount of nutrients and in macronutrients we require large amount of nutrients yeah very good so the nutrients that we need in larger amount is called as macronutrients as the name says macro micronutrients means that we need a limited amount when compared with the macronutrients which are they which are the macronutrients reina macronutrients hmm. try macro uh, carbohydrate carbohydrate fats fat. fat. proteins proteins one more very important vitamin no uh, we drink we drink Mineral. We drink water. Water. So water we need in large amount, right? So water is also considered as a nutrient. So water is a macro nutrient. Okay. Carbohydrate, proteins, fat, and water is considered as the macro nutrients. And what about micronutrients, Sana? Micronutrients. Uh, which means and minerals? Vitamins and minerals. Okay. So I told you that the food is classified on the basis of two. One is on the basis of nutrients. So which are they? On the basis of nutrients, we classified the food into six groups. Into uh, six groups. Which are they? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, water, minerals and vitamins. These are the six groups that we divided on the basis of nutrients present in the food. 
which are they raina repeat which are the six nutrients carbohydrate protein fat, protein fat water minerals and vitamins very good then the vitamins are divided into two or we have two kinds of vitamins which are they water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins okay there are two types of vitamins water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins what do you mean by water soluble vitamins water soluble as the name says the vitamins that dissolves in water vitamin that dissolves in water is called as water soluble vitamins okay as the name says there are two types of vitamins water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins means the vitamins that dissolves in water that is called as water soluble vitamins which are the water soluble vitamins which are the water soluble vitamins note it down vitamin b complex vitamin b complex and vitamin c vitamin b complex and vitamin c okay what do you mean by the b complex b complex we have vitamin b1 vitamin b2 vitamin b3 okay so b has a group of vitamins that is called as b complex a group of vitamins come together to form a single group that is called as b complex so water soluble vitamins are water soluble vitamins are b and c okay the so the vitamin b and vitamin c are dissolved in water it is easily the water soluble vitamins are easily absorbed than the fat soluble vitamins okay is it clear reena need to repeat water soluble vitamins are easily absorbed by our body it is easily absorbed by our body than the fat soluble vitamins than the fat soluble vitamins okay so the next one is fat soluble vitamins we learned about water soluble vitamins vitamin b complex and vitamin c are called as water soluble vitamins and the next one is the next classification of vitamin is fat soluble vitamins as the name says these are the vitamins that dissolves in fat okay the fat dissolving nutrients is called as is it clear reena any doubt okay ha huh? ha huh. which are the which are the fat soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin a d e and k vitamin a d e and k are called as fat soluble vitamins you can remember this uh, as a decca d e k a this is the short form okay decca d e k a fat soluble vitamins a d e and k what is it decca don't forget okay it's easy right if you learn like this short forms it will never forget okay so what are the two uh, types of vitamins ana two type of vitamins vitamin and fat soluble vitamin what is a water soluble vitamins uh, the vitamin that is dissolved in water ha ah, what is the difference so what is the difference between fat soluble and water soluble water soluble vitamins are easily absorbed by our body okay water soluble so the body absorbs these water soluble vitamins easily than fat soluble vitamins okay that is called as fat soluble vitamins and the again one more classification is the on the basis of function okay the first classification of food is based on the nutrients present in the food and the second classification is based on functions our each food have certain functions 
So on the basis of these functions, we classified our food into four, which are the energy giving nutrients, which means the nutrients that gives you energy to do a work or you can, uh, it helps to do anything or leisure activities, anything that provides energy. So energy giving nutrients that provides energy like carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is a energy giving nutrients. Okay. Energy giving nutrients. This is the first one. And the next is body building nutrients. Next is body building nutrients. What do you mean by body building nutrients? Megna, do you know? Body building nutrients. Developing our muscles. Hmm. It is used mainly to repair the tissues. Okay. Body building nutrients are mainly used to repair tissues and organs. That is body building nutrients. The nutrients that help to build and repair tissues. That is called as body building nutrients. I can give an example for one. Okay, body building nutrients. Energy giving nutrients are carbohydrates. Protein building nutrients are, sorry, body building nutrients are proteins. Okay. In next class, we are going to learn about uh, each foods that providing the carbohydrate, proteins and all. Okay. So in this class, just remember the names. We divide the food on the basis of functions. That is energy giving nutrients. The first one is energy giving nutrients like carbohydrates that provides you energy. And the second is body building nutrients, which means it helps you to build and repair the tissues, which are the proteins. Protein is considered as a body building nutrient. Sana, is it clear? Okay, fine. And the third one is protective nutrients. The third is protective nutrient. As the name says, these nutrients that help us to protect from various diseases by improving our immune system. It helps us to protect. That is protective nutrients. So if you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you get, you improve, your immune system is improves. That is it. If you include lots of fruits and vegetables in your meal, it improves your immune system. That is protective nutrients. So which are the vitamins and minerals are considered as protective nutrients. And the last one is regulatory nutrients. Last one is regulatory nutrients, which means it regulates the whole functions of your body. Regulatory nutrients regulate all the body functions. That is called as regulatory nutrients. Again, the vitamins and minerals are called as regulatory nutrients. Okay, so I will repeat it once again. The nutrients are classified into two. They are micronutrients and macronutrients. Macronutrients means the nutrients that we need in larger amounts. And micronutrients means the nutrients that we need in smaller amount. Okay, so now what are the macronutrients? Macronutrients. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, good. Fats. Fats. Water. Water, one more is there. Dals and all are? Dal. Dal is? Dal provides us? The soya bean and all that provides us? Protein. Proteins, very good. So that are the macronutrients. And the food is classified on the basis of two, on the basis of nutrients and on the basis of functions. Which are the um, classification of food on the basis of nutrients, Meghna, nutrients. There are six groups. Just list. Fast Vitamins, minerals, minerals, fats, proteins, fat, water, water, uh, and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Reina, how we classify the food on the basis of functions? Functions. Body building nutrients. Body building uh, nutrients. Protective nutrients. Protective energy, nutrients. Energy, energy giving nutrients. Energy giving nutrients. Regulatory nutrients. Regulatory nutrients. So which are the um, vitamins and minerals are belongs to 
vitamins and minerals are belong to meghna <laughs> yes Reg oh, sorry regulatory nutrients Re regulatory nutrients and protective nutrients vitamins and minerals are regulatory nutrients and protective nutrients okay so any doubts okay so i am going to wind up the class and uh, after 10 minutes we can join again okay next class is also mine okay bye take care thank you ma'am thank you thank you all